Hello friends, welcome to whatever day this is posted. <laughs> What can I say? Life is chaotic right now. So I did have a bigger project planned for yes for Thursday, whether that be yesterday or the day before yesterday. Um, but then I realized that uh, I had too many big projects right in a row and I needed to order more resin. So I was waiting for that. <clears throat> and I decided instead to do something kind of silly, fun, experimental. So I have um, these uh, stencils that I got in a pack. I believe these are from AliExpress, but they're probably like, I don't know, 10, 15 years old at this point. So I wanted to see if you could make stencil art with resin. Originally, I wanted to try this with... Um, actual resin, like two-part epoxy resin, but due to time constraints and the fact that I'm waiting on more resin to come in, I decided to try it with UV resin. So I've got some UV resin here, and I've got, this is one of those silicone mats, and I've got it on the shiny side because I wanted to, um, hopefully if this works, for the pieces to be shiny. And originally what I started to do was I was using my, um, my scotch uh, uh, tape roller and placing tape on the back side of these so that they would stick. But then I realized that actually they stick really well to the silicone without the tape runner. So I don't know. We'll see which one works better. Uh... The reason I wanted to do that, obviously, is so that I can hopefully prevent the resin from going under these stencils. Um, you know. But again, we're just experimenting here. The idea for me, I think, is eventually to be able to use either the individual pieces or the stencils themselves in something like a tray. So if I were to lay down, let's say, this stencil and do the heart and then remove the stencil, would the heart in resin stay there? Um, or would it, you know, be messed up? Also, for like these solid pieces, right? So for like these little butterflies or, you know, this heart thing, if uh, I could let the resin cure and then, you know, pull it off of the silicone mat to use in pieces. So that's kind of the idea of what, I'm, what I've got going on here. So I've got my um, UV resin. I don't have very much of this, so we're probably not going to be doing a whole lot. I'm a mess, y'all. <laughs> and then I've got a little scraper. So um, hopefully I can just gently, you know, glide this across to scrape off any excess. And of course, I've got my very bright, gigantic LED light. So... Let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to stay with clear or if I want to do, like, mix in a color, um, an alcohol ink. Obviously, if, it, if the color is too um, solid or um, not transparent enough, the light will not go through it and won't cure it all the way. So, you know, since we're experimenting, let's just stick with clear. I think that's what we'll do. We'll stick with clear. I'm going to do um, a couple of the clovers up here. I wanted to try to do this tree. I don't know that I'm going to do... I might do one of the little flowers or something. I wanted to try the butterflies and the hearts. And then for this one, I'm probably going to do the butterflies and the hearts. Um... And yeah, let's just see how it goes, yeah? All right, let's get started.
All right. <laughs> well, I don't know how well that works. Um, for one thing, obviously, the silicone mat is um, was kind of rejecting the resin, meaning it would kind of pull up so that there's empty spots of resin, if that makes sense. I got some on my arm, so I was just cleaning that off with some alcohol. But, let's see what we got. So, actually, it's kind of perfect. Hopefully you guys can see that. Yes, you can. Right there is where the resin pulled away from the mat. This one came out great. Uh, so, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this onto the light to kind of cure it a little bit more, maybe, hopefully. Um, I did not do the tree. I'm running so low on my UV resin that I just didn't want to do that. Oh, see that? It's still in there as well. So, I was really hoping that the resin would stick to the mat and not to the, uh, the stencil, but it has stuck to the stencil. Okay, so that's cured, hopefully. I mean, it makes sense for it to stick to the stencil because, you know, the resin is on the stencil. This is the one that I had the tape on. And I just put a big old <laughs> glove print in that. So will this work for resin? Hmm. I have my doubts. I have my doubts. I think it would be cool if it if it could. Just curing the butterflies over here. Let me see. Trying to be as gentle as possible, obviously. I don't know how well you're going to see it. I guess you can see it. So it does kind of work. Um, I think it would be much easier with two-part epoxy than with the uh, UV resin. Just because, um, I'm going to put that down actually. Just because two-part is just a little bit thicker than UV resin. Let's see if I can get this started. Also, you know, with two-part epoxy, you can color it any way you want. This might be a little bit harder just because of the tail. 
butterfly's tail. Okay. <laughs> it kind of works. Is it a struggle? Yes. Um, would it be worth doing? Uh, you know, if you wanted a whole tray full of butterflies, that's totally up to you. I can't make that judgment call for you. Um, it really is kind of a pain in the ass. I'm not going to lie. Uh, which I figured it might be. But I will say, on the back side, none of the resin seeps through on the silicone mat. None of the resin. And this is the one that I had without the adhesive on it. Look at that. You don't even really need the pokey tool. Just bend the... Just bend it. Okay, I lied. Maybe a little bit seep through. Because that just came off the back. Ah, oh, there we go. There's still a little bit sticky... Um, Probably mostly because I may have some uncured resin on my gloves, which is why you always wear gloves. <laughs> but yeah, okay. It kind of works. It kind of works. I'm definitely going to have to um, try this again with two-part epoxy. Maybe when I've mixed up some and I have a little bit left over, maybe that's what I'll do, is I'll just throw it on to you know, onto here and see if I can't get some really cool little pieces out of it. Well, like I said, my first idea with this was to put the stencil on to, let's say, a resin tray and then, you know, pour little bits of resin like I did, let that cure, and then remove the stencils so that they're still there in like a 3D form. That, that was the idea that I had. But yeah, that is today's video. Sorry it's a, it's a little small, but I promise <laughs> next week I've got an enormous almost 1,000 milliliter mold to show you guys. Uh -huh. So pray for me. Okay? Alright, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. It really helps out my channel, helps me to grow. Also, if you are new, stick around by clicking the subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Take care.